Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing Venus in Cancer love reading. So this is gonna be a love reading for every single star sign. This can be for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. This is going to be when Venus is going into Cancer from August 7th till September 6th. So we're gonna be looking into your love life, what's going on, this is for singles, in a, in a romantic relationship, mainly for singles though. So if you are in a partnership, this may not be for you, but obviously watch your sign and see if it resonates. So let's get started with this reading. So we're gonna start off with Aries. All Everything is timestamped down below. So please uh, choose your sign and let's get started. So starting off with Aries. Hello Aries, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So let's get started with your Venus in Cancer reading. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at the general energy and we're going to have a look into, sorry, I'm showing you my arm there. So we're gonna first look into the animal spirit and we're gonna see what kind of energy is going to be the main energy that you are kind of dealing with. What is it that's coming up for you? And we're gonna see what's gonna be kind of the main energy that you are dealing with, okay? So let's see what's going on. Okay, so Aries for Venus in Cancer. Let's see what's going on for my lovely Aries in love. Oops, okay, so we've got two cards here. So the main energy underneath is, is fire ants. So you guys may, may be feeling a little bit impatient. That could be coming up for you guys. So we have the peacock and the bee. So these are the main energies here. Let's see if we can stand both of these up there. Okay, so we have the peacock and we have the bee. So this is really, really interesting because I feel like you are being busy as a bee. You're getting really, really kind of interested in love. I feel like some of you guys is kind of like a two polar opposites. Some of you guys are like really not bothered and some of you are like really, really bothered. So obviously we're going to be kind of connecting to two different energies. So with the peacock, I really feel like you guys are expressing yourself. I feel like you're really kind of coming into your own. And with the bee, making sure to kind of chill out and not to rush things, but also to really kind of come into a space where you're able to express who you are. And if there's anything that you have kind of been worried about in love, I don't feel like there's a problem here. I feel like because maybe you haven't had a strong relationship for a long time, or even a strong relationship really in your life, this is gonna change. And I feel like this Venus in Cancer energy is causing you to slow down and to really go inwards and to see if there's anything that you're missing in terms of kind of not focusing on one problem. I feel kind of looking at things at a broader perspective and not being too intense about that energy and really remembering to, I'm hearing exit the premises, so remembering to leave a situation if you aren't happy. And that is for some of you who are in toxic relationships or in relationships that really aren't suiting you. I really feel like that's gonna be ramped up for you guys. So if you are feeling like you're overloaded, make sure to take some self-care time, make sure to really be in your own energy. Alrighty, so let's have a look at the tarot cards and let's see what's coming for you guys. Just gonna move the cards over here. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, so my lovely Aries, what's going on for Aries, for Venus in Cancer? I, I'm hearing just being proud of who you are as well and not debating on that. Really being proud of your personality and how you express yourself to the world. Because these, these are really important. And you, you know, I, I think I had, they pollinate at least the third of the planet. And that's huge. So, okay, so the first one we have out is the Ten of Pentacles, which is so amazing. I love that. It's such a beautiful energy. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, and we have the Strengths. Let's move these over here. Okay. Alrighty, so let's get some more crystals. Let me move my crystals over here. Get some more crystals. Let's get some more cards. Sorry, it's really hot in here. It's making my head go loopy. So let's get some more cards. Let's see what's going on. Obviously, this isn't going to resonate for every single Aries. So just take it as it resonates. Yeah, I see success for you guys. I feel like you guys aren't really focusing on love at the moment. Don't focus on the past, guys. Don't focus on things that haven't worked out. 
Okay, so we have the Six of Cups here. So this is a really beautiful energy. So reminiscing on the past, I feel like in terms of love for you guys, for those of you who are single, I do see someone here. I feel like they're not here yet. So I don't see for you guys that there's gonna be a love relationship within this time frame. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit later, possibly around like early to late September, if anything, October, November time this year. But I do feel it's because you are creating love for yourself that this is the main element. And I feel like there's still a little bit of learning to do here. There is a love offer, however, in terms of timing, it is gonna vary, but I do see love around you guys. I feel like you are definitely working on your strengths. You're working on being single and kind of dealing with that energy. And if you are in a relationship, I do see progression here. I do see that there is little things that you're worrying about and it's kind of not, it's kind of trying to take off the edge of that, try not to worry about things that are really affecting you because you are so precious, Aries, and there's definitely a beautiful element to you and you may be seeing um, blackbirds around you as well. And you may be having quite intense dreams because we've got like a bed frame here. So really focus on, um, I feel like your dreams are really trying to tell you something as well about your love life. It does feel like to give yourself more love because we have this strength card and I feel like you guys may feel the need to kind of be this kind of in, like empress all the all the time and sometimes it can be really difficult because it's it takes a lot of strength to be positive all the time or be really kind of brave all the time and really learning to just accept yourself and love yourself for that. So I, as I say, I do feel like love is coming in for you guys. I don't feel like it's super, super strong. I'm not getting like a massive, massive, massive love vibe in this time frame, but I am feeling it more a little bit later on in the year. Um, I do feel like you're gonna have a lot of success within career, however. Something that you have, you're trying to accomplish within career or goals, within your personal goals, definitely see that happening. So this could be in money, this could be a personal project. I feel like some of you are releasing a book or a podcast or something like that. It feels like something is coming in for you guys. Let's see what your main element that you're working on. What's the main element that Eric is working on? Okay, commitment. Yeah, so I do see love coming in. I think the timing is just a little bit off. So it could be this time frame, but you are definitely working on your heart and your sacral chakra. So if you've been feeling that within your heart or within that sacral chakra, it's just above your belly button, then I do feel as if you are definitely working on that. You could be becoming closer with children, your own children, um, your inner child, that kind of thing. You could have been working on that. We also have business though. So underneath this, I do feel like you could be working with somebody in business. And I do feel like the fact we do have Garnet now is kind of pointing me more towards love. So I do feel like love is here. As I say, the timing may be a little bit different. Uh, it may not be exactly within this uh, August to September, August to early September, but it does feel like you are building something. You're building an empire. And within that empire is love. So it's like business seems to be the more, most important thing, like projects and personal projects seems to be more important than actually love. But I do feel like love is coming in here. I do feel like love is very, very important for you guys, okay? So um, I'm gonna pull you one more card. Let's, go, let's see what's gonna come in for you guys. Oops, okay, yeah, definitely. You guys are really learning to flow with this with all these in really intense energies. So if you've been feeling really run down or low in energy, that is very, very natural. Just learn to flow with it. And yeah, I definitely feel like working on your craft and something you're passionate about is something that's coming in. So let's pull you some uh, star signs. Let's see what star sign wants to come through. Okay, so we have Libra. We have Aries and we also have Cancer. So that is your love reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to subscribe, the button is down below. And if you'd like um, a private reading, all information is down below. Also with my crystal jewelry store down below. Thank you so much Aries and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello my lovely Taurus. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So first of all for you guys, I feel like you are definitely working with a few blockages. That's like the first thing I saw is that you guys are working through kind of, I feel like you might want to try and force things to happen. So just be aware of that. 
I'm seeing you guys kind of ramming your head against the door and just trying to get it open. I'm feeling that kind of like hard headedness from you guys uh, in this kind of this month or so energy. So I feel like don't force things in love. I feel like it will definitely come naturally and not to be so hard on yourself, okay? Because I feel like you guys do have a tendency to do that. So let's have a look and see what animal you are working with within this time frame. Let's see what's happening for you guys in love. I'm really picking up a ladybird really strongly for you guys. So if you've been seeing a ladybird, I feel like that's coming in really strongly. Alrighty. So my lovely Taurus. Okay, let's shuffle again. All right, so we have the whale. So for you guys, I feel like the whale is a very gentle energy. I feel like it's an energy of kind of slow progression. So I'm gonna have a look into the whale now and see, have a look into my book and we're gonna see what else it says. Okay, so a desire to delve deeper, profound peace and ancient wisdom. Okay, so I feel like for you guys is to making sure you're not slipping into an old story about how you feel, where you were before, really keep focusing on the future and the present moment, focusing on regular self-care that's gonna really bring in this energy. I feel like in terms of love, it's that steady energy and being really compassionate towards yourself. So I feel like you may be feeling quite heavy and feeling a little bit kind of intense. So make sure to um, kind of lighten that energy as much as possible in terms of looking um, out in nature, kind of be in nature as much as possible. If you can't get out in nature, um, possibly kind of like listen to some nice music, listen to some nice nature sounds. I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit. Um, and also just kind of bringing in that just gentle energy because I feel like it's definitely like a hard headed kind of energy of you guys. It's really kind of trying to to come out. So I really love that part of you that's feeling a little bit insecure. So let's see what's coming for you guys in tarot. Let's see what wants to come through. Okay. Okay, first of all, we have the five of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really struggling at the moment. But I do feel like you're, you're gonna get out of this. I don't feel like this is gonna be forever. This might just be the current energy that I'm kind of picking up on. I don't feel like it's gonna be forever. I think it's definitely a, um, a temporary energy. And I, yeah, I definitely feel like you just need to laugh at yourself sometime, bring in some laughter into your life and just kind of move on. I feel like you're attracting an earth, another earth sign or an air sign into your life who's going to give you a lot of options and to do the relationship. So this is going to be within the time frame that I said, if I haven't said a time frame already. So it's going to be in the time frame within this video. So the 7th of August to the 6th of September, I'm pretty sure it is that I said. Um, yeah, I feel like there's definitely energy of feeling trapped and insecure and kind of feeling like things are very unfair. So I feel like working on projects is going to be a really good way of distracting this energy and getting the energy flowing. Also moving into moving your body, um, dancing, running, that type of thing. Okay, so the first energy I'm feeling is with these two. There's somebody who's coming in who's kind of helping you to feel like you're less trapped. So it could be um, a male figure. It doesn't have to be male, but that's kind of what I'm picking up on here. It feels very masculine. So it could be another earth sign as well, but it does feel like somebody's coming in and they're really humorous and lighting, lightening the mood. It feels like when you move on from an old job that doesn't serve you, you're gonna feel actually much happier within love. Cause I feel like some of you guys are like, I don't have enough time for a relationship. I'm too busy working. That is not true, <laughs> okay? Everyone always has time for a relationship. It's just how much priorities you wanna put into it. So, so, so for some of you guys who really would like a relationship, I see that coming in for you guys. I feel like if you're really not interested, I don't see somebody coming in because I feel like you need to be more open and bring that blockage kind of down. Um, but it doesn't mean that you're never gonna get one, it just feels like there's something you need to work on there that's kind of blocking the energy. Um, obviously there's never really any blockages, we kind of, we do things uh, to learn, but I do feel like for you guys, it's really important to work on your inner child and also to connect with spirit. I feel like just to lighten the energy, there is definitely somebody around you though that's really interested in you, who's really, just has got a lot of knowledge and has got a lot of power and ha is really, really interested in, kind of the uh, higher realms. So they're probably somebody who's very into spirituality. 
and they are really really connected to just the other realms i'm hearing so they might be into kind of aliens and crop circles things like that and they're i'm picking up a very strong surge energy from this person as well but they're going to give you some sort of work opportunity too so it feels like something that's very stable it feels like this person really knows their stuff within finances so they're going to be um yeah i feel very very positive and this person also is going to make you think about love in a different way. They're going to make you feel more free. So you could have been in a relationship that was very kind of stubborn and stuck and you felt very unsettled and uncomfortable. That's no longer going to be there. It's going to be very, very free flowing. So if you, if there's anybody in your life that you need to let go of that's toxic, this will help this energy to come through. If you don't know anybody, there's nobody in your life who you're interested in or have or you've already let go of the past and things like that, I definitely see this new person coming in after a little bit of struggles. But I think this is genuinely just you working on your emotions and kind of coming out of that. And then this person's ready to kind of come in, okay? So let's see what else is coming in for you guys. Yep, beautiful. Definitely new opportunities within your heart, guys. I really feel like you guys are opening your heart chakra. That is coming through really, really strongly. And then we have calmness, cancer. Yeah, so just being calm around the energy and just being calm around um, what's kind of going on. And if you feel very stuck, just know that it's not going to last forever. And also talk to your friends about this. If you're struggling to deal with what you're going through, then I feel that's, that's just something that you might need to just talk about your friends and kind of get it out, out and in the open. So we do have Taurus. So you might be connecting with another Taurus. Let's get you one more card. Yeah, somebody you could have Taurus Mercury as well. Um, there's somebody who's really good at communication. I mean, the King of Swords is a definition of someone who's good at communicating. And we do have Pisces here as well. Okay, let's pull you some charms. Let's see what star sign is also present here. Just give us a little bit of a mix. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have Gemini, definitely somebody who's really good at communicating. They're very clear with their mind, so whenever they want to say something, they'll just say it. We then have Virgo, let's get one more. Okay, and we also have Pisces, yeah, beautiful. So thank you so much for watching Taurus. I hope you have a lovely day. All of my private reading information is down below along my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello my lovely Geminis, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this uh, Venus in Cancer. So let me just adjust myself, there we go. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's happening for you guys within this energy. Okay, so let's see, it's gonna get a animal card and see what your energy is kind of doing at the moment. So. My lovely Geminis, Venus, Gemini, Venus, Gemini, Venus, Moon, Venus, Sun, and Venus rising. Okie dokie. Okay, so you guys got the same card as the Aries. So that's really interesting. And we also have the Oyster. You guys are ready to go. You guys want a relationship. You're really, really into... Uh, relationships right now you're really feeling that energy of wanting to connect with other people the bee is very busy it's a working animal it's very much so it doesn't slow down so making sure you're not overworking yourself you're not overdoing it and I feel like the bee is just very very happy it's very sprightly it's very cute and fuzzy and also like it's not it's, it's known that bees aren't actually meant to be able to fly like scientifically their body's actually too big for their wings but for some reason they fly so for you guys i feel like having to but like not having to like believing in yourself is really really important at, at this time and i feel like this is going to really set you off this venus in uh, cancer i feel like it's going to really bring you to a happy place within your life and I feel like you're just going to feel very positive and yeah, just moving forward fearlessly, I feel. So let's see what's happening for you guys. Have a look in the tarot. See what wants to come out. Okie dokie. So we have the empress i've just seen that if that was in the reverse it's not it's his upright so the empress the devil so dealing with a lot of emotional 
depth with someone. I feel like this is very, very positive. I feel like the emperor is going to be your new person coming in. So for those of you who are single, get ready. There's someone very, very, they're entertaining you. They're saying they're very entertaining. There's somebody who will entertain your space in a very, I'm hearing geographic way. So there might be somebody who is quite far away from you. There could be somebody who uh, knows two different languages or three or five languages. There's somebody who is just very entertaining as well. And we also have strength in the reverse. So I actually see this as a very positive card. I actually see this as in the reverse. I feel like you guys have gone through something quite big in terms of transformation. And I feel like this energy of kind of light cancer energy is really actually fulfilling you and making you feel really comfortable. So with the Empress and the Devil, I feel like you're really dealing with those um, energies around you, like inside of you. And I feel like you're really actually working on them, which is really, really good. Um, some of you guys, you may be kind of avoiding it, but obviously this is a general reading. So for some of you guys, you may be avoiding, some of you may be really going into it. But the best advice for you, I feel like, is to just go into those emotions. So I see that you're really working on yourself. You might be having a little bit of bloating going on within your stomach. So just be aware of that. There might just be a little bit of stomach energy. I mean, the Empress is Cancerian energy. It's very, very beautiful. It's very nurturing, very loving. So I feel like you're working on that within yourself. You're learning to work with the moon. And I feel like this emperor is gonna be somebody in a very stable person in your life. So this could even be somebody you already know I'm picking up for some of you guys. This could be somebody you're already in a relationship with. But for those of you who are single, I do see somebody who quite hard headed, but they get things done. And I feel like they're gonna be somebody who will take charge. If you're somebody who is more submissive, this person's gonna be more dominant. If you're the more dominant one, they're gonna be more the submissive one. And I mean submissive in the most nicest way possible. Because uh, obviously you do need that balance at some point. You obviously can't have two dominant people. I mean, you can, but sometimes it can cause arguments and things. So it's kind of like that balance between the masculine and the feminine. It feels very, very natural. So this person's going to be really, really deep. They're going to be somebody who's gone through quite a lot of stress in their life. And they've gone through quite a lot of heartache with their with people, especially with um, romantic partners. And right now I feel like they're very relaxed. And I feel like the same for you guys. I feel like you're quite relaxed in love. There may be kind of a little bit of doubt within this person if they're the right person you may be debating whether this is the right person you might think oh my god I don't know what to do um just don't worry about it guys like don't focus on the negative focus on this person and what they're actually presenting to you right now don't focus on <clears throat> any kind of negative energy if if you I feel like this is in your doubts I don't feel like this is the person I feel like this is your doubts I feel like this is you trying to convince yourself this person isn't the right person because I feel like this is kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy kind of deal it's kind of like if you focus on the negative it will be negative so make sure just to be in your own energy really work on that part of you that's a little bit scared and a little bit nervous but I feel overall very very positive okay so let's get you a crystal card let's see what's going on for you guys I just feel like forward movement is coming in your love life I just feel like a lot of action a lot of positivity yeah amazing so children you guys might be connecting to an Aries because Aries got that card I'm pretty sure as well we have children and we've got trust so trusting your gut trusting your intuition trusting the universe when you trust yourself you trust the universe you know because we are the universe we are all the universe we are all connected to nature we are one with it so also connecting with your inner child and working with that third eye energy so you may be working on your intuition and I just feel like connecting your intuition with your heart and just learning to trust yourself and know that if you feel strongly with this person and it feels positive, it feels mature, it feels long term, it feels like it's going to, you know, be somebody who is there for you. And I feel like this could even be like your neighbour, like for some of you guys, it could be a neighbour or could have been a neighbour, like a place you used to live. They could, it could be for some of you guys that this person used to be your neighbor and then you moved away and then they're your neighbor again. <laughs> like it could be something as crazy as that. It just feels like something very serendipitous is happening. And um, yeah, it feels, it does feel very, very positive. Okay, so working with the flow of this energy, I really feel like somebody's gonna give you a gift. I'm really picking up on that. And it just feels like this energy is starting to flow. So it may have been quite stuck for you guys. This energy around um, August and September is gonna feel very flowy because you guys are going through a really big breakthrough and you're learning to put up boundaries where people, if people are kind of um, making you feel a little bit unhappy, a little bit unsettled, really working with those emotions 
and um, giving yourself the space and time to, to work with that. And I definitely feel like you could be um, connecting with somebody who is quite far away, could be a Sagittarius, could be somebody who's into travel. Okay, let's get you a, let's get you some charms. So let's see who else, or what other energies are kind of coming in for you guys. I'm trying to pick up a charm. There's some letters in here, I don't want those. Okay, so we have Leo. So you definitely could be connected with a fire sign, really strong. Could be connected with another Aries, as I said. Okay, we have Pisces. Let's see what else we have in here. And we also have Scorpio. I feel like you guys could even meet them at a party or something. Or something, I mean, obviously if parties are going on. But it feels like you're celebrating something. It could even be like your birthday and then they pop up as an old message. It could be a message from somebody who you used to know. And... Um, that I mean obviously you don't have to be with this person if it's somebody that was kind of toxic and wasn't really right for you but this person feels that like they have good intentions so it might be somebody you've been waiting for a call from so just yeah I really feel that for you guys so thank you so much for watching Gemini if you would like to all my private reading rates are down below also with my crystal shop thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye hello my lovely Cancerians let's get started with your Venus in Cancer reading so let's start off with the animal spirits and let's see what animal is kind of coming out for you guys for this month. Okay, so we have the turtle. A very earthy energy I'm feeling, even though it is a water animal, I feel like it's quite earthy. And we have the lizard in the reverse. So. I feel like for you guys, you might be wanting to just run away from things this, in this month. I feel like it's it's kind of like the heat is being turned up too much and you're kind of needing to run away. I feel like the best thing for you is finding safety. And with water signs, safety is very, very important. So I do feel like that is gonna be a really important thing for you guys as well. Um, I'm gonna look into this book for extra messages. So let's see what else the turtle says. So this is about ancient soul grounding, trusting at home in the self. Yeah, exactly. So it says, when in balance, peaceful, adventurous and productive. When out of balance, slows to a halt. To bring into balance an adventure. So I feel like for you guys, you might have been feeling a little bit lacklustre or unproductive. Or you could have been feeling really, really productive. I feel like this energy is quite slow moving, but it's very, very, it is very, very productive. It's kind of slow, but it's productive. So you may feel the need to kind of rush things. Just take, just take your time with it. This is in love and in general as well. Just anything that you're working on, especially if it's a project, don't rush it. I feel like rushing creativity is not the right thing to do. I feel like feeling at safe and feeling safe at home with yourself is really important for this energy. It feels very coddling. It feels very safe and nurturing. So I feel like you're really going to benefit from this energy that's coming in with this Venus uh, in Cancer energy. I feel like it's gonna really suit you and it's gonna feel really, really homely for you, okay? So let's see what else we have. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. Beautiful, love this. So I feel like you've gone through quite a big heartbreaking energy. It could be something from the past, but you're really working on that. You're actually going through that really nicely. And this is part of the death and rebirth process. This is you coming out the other side and feeling really, really happy with who you are, okay? This is you going through lots of stress, especially with um, lovers and things like that. You're really coming into your own and you're starting to really put up your boundaries and not accept anything that is no longer part of your energy so i feel like you could meet someone through work it may not be within this time frame that's on this video but it could be somebody coming in who is around october time maybe october to december it could be but obviously this is a general reading so just take it as it resonates but i do feel like you're really accepting yourself and becoming safe within yourself and i do i do feel like there is a bit of stress around the heart area so you might be working on your heart shock quite a lot but I do feel like somebody is around you. I feel like somebody is starting to come in, but just not yet. I feel like there's definitely energy of just working on your own self. And but I do feel like love is around you guys. Obviously it depends on your placements and things like that within your chart. 
but it feels like you're working on things that are more you. It feels like, for those of you, this is more aimed at you who are single, but if you're resonating with this, being in a relationship, that's amazing. So it feels like because you've come out of this negative energy, it could have been a person, it could have been a mindset, you are being stripped away of everything that's old and it could be very painful. It could be feeling really, really uncomfortable. But once you've gone through this death process and you've released it, you're now realizing this is what I want to be. This is this is who I want to be. I want to be more free. I want to dance when I want to dance. I want to just do what I want to do. I feel like the person you're previously with was very controlling or the energy that you felt was very controlling within your mind. And I feel like you're learning to just kind of release that. There's definitely a new energy of, okay, I actually have choices now. And it, if some of you guys, you could actually be moving house as well. But I do see there is some sort of a reignition within your energy. So this this uh, Venus in Cancer is really going to bring in that reignition within your energy. So look out for this this kind of new reignition. You might be feeling. It just feels like I'm, I'm hearing a new car. So you guys might actually be getting a new car, but it feels like. Um, there's a song called Ignition, and you guys might know what it is. It's quite like a sexual song. Um, remix to Remix, Ignition Remix. I don't know, I can't remember what the song is, but if you guys know what it is, please comment down below for others. I can't remember what the exact song is called, but we have Moonstone, Moon Cycles, Crown Shock. So you guys could be really connecting with the moon right now. And as the moon, like the moon, you know, we are like the moon and we are connected to the nature and the moon goes through cycles and it's that beautiful energy of feeling self feeling confident and within yourself so you're really going through an energy of self-confidence so with this energy i feel like you're coming back around you will definitely be meeting someone soon though i feel like when you've moved through whatever it is that you need to shed and whatever you need to bring in this person is coming soon i do definitely feel like it's going to be after this two of pentacles so let's pull some more cards let's see what else is coming in yeah beautiful so working on your projects and i feel like it could be a um, earth sign coming we have a knight of pentacles so it could be an earth sign coming in they're most likely going to be helping you with projects as well yeah it could even be an aries as well guys i definitely felt that it feels like there's just something that needs to be shared i feel like you could actually meet this person within this venus energy um, but obviously it's going to be debatable for some of you guys I'm actually picking up on January for some of you as well and going to be releasing that part of you that's really confused it's like why am I not like connecting to anyone or why am I not manifesting anyone it's because you haven't fully gone through this cycle yet but it's it's on the, the verge of ending okay and moonstone is a really beautiful crystal I sell moonstone nexus on my shop I love them <laughs> not to promote myself but I really really love these crystals um just in general as a crystal it's really good for feminine power so if you do resonate as a feminine it's going to be really good for you as well so um is coming into your power very naturally as well so we do have cancer coming in so you could be connecting with another cancer but when normally they're saying when there's a card that's actually for that sign that comes out it's showing that you're coming within yourself and you're learning who you are and you're learning that you're learning what it is you need to learn about yourself and you're starting to understand those parts of you so we have gemini as well someone who is very good at communicating beautiful really a lot of love coming in for you guys absolutely beautiful so stunning so some of you guys you could be in a relationship very soon and we do have capricorn so definitely can meet somebody through work through some sort of work endeavor and then we also have ninth house so somebody who's really good with travel so i need to just pull one more card i feel like you guys are definitely moving house yeah it could be um you're moving state moving country um, I feel like for you guys, just be careful, obviously, with all the restrictions and things. So just be be sensible, guys. Um, but it feels like somebody could come through through social media. That is the third house of communication. So beautiful. Let's get you some charms. Let's see who you might be connecting with or any energies that you might be connecting with. We have Aries. Lovely. We have Leo. I'm picking up on Pisces as well. Gemini. Beautiful. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out my private reading rates. All the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely Leos. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what's happening for you guys with this Venus in Cancer energy. So as I said, this is for Leo, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Oh, that was quick. Okie dokie. Wow. Oh, look at the little lamb. That is so cute. I love, I love these cards. They're so pretty. Okay, so we have eagle and we have the lamb. Look how small. Oh my God, that is so cute. Okay, I'm going to leave this little lamb out because I'm, I just, I love him. So 
Okay, so some of you guys I'm actually picking up on you might be going vegan or not actually eating lamb. I'm feeling like you're very, making a very conscious decision about your diet. Um, could be restricting your diet in terms, in a good way, in terms of like not having gluten, sugar, wheat, that kind of thing. I really feel that. So, all right. So you guys are finding your personal power. Eagle is a very, very, very strong card in this deck. This is about finding your personal power, and eagles are about direction. You know, in um, tribes, this uh, the eagle is to show um, like a direction. It's showing. It's a sim. It's a symbol. It's like a very, very strong symbol. Um, so I really feel like for you guys, you're really finding your personal power and it is Leo season. So that does make sense. Um, I'm going to have a look into the book and we're going to see if there's any other messages that want to come out. Okay. All right. So this is about bright, radiant challenges. So this is when in balance, when out of balance, controlling to bring into balance, step into the unknown. So I really feel for you guys, this is pushing you to become your best self. Um, this is for you to become stronger than what you think you are. And I feel like with this Venus energy, it's also bringing in that love for you. I feel like it's really bringing in a beautiful element of love. And I do feel like Leos and Cancers do get along really, really well. I feel like they do have that natural nurturing energy. So for you guys, I feel like it's coming into balance, making sure that you're not just focusing on yourself and just focusing on others. I feel like some of you guys were in Leo season, it can be more about the self. So making sure you are, make, uh, make sure you're like helping others. If anybody needs help, making sure to uh, check up on people as well. Obviously, if you normally do that anyway, that's totally fine. But I do feel like there is making sure to check up on friends, especially if you're working a lot, you may be a bit busy. So make sure not to neglect any other relationships coming in, okay? There's definitely a rebirth coming in because I feel like lambs are very, obviously they're little babies. So I feel like coming into a rebirth of yourself, your inner child is is thanking you. Okay, so we have the five of wands. So there may be a little bit of a conflict around you with relationships. So, but I feel like you are trying to clear that energy. It just feels like a power struggle between you and your mind. It might not even be a person outwardly. It could be literally just your mind. So yeah, it feels like you're kind of worried about not be, about being in a relationship or being single. But I do feel like there's somebody here who does want to give you that energy. So don't ignore this person. You might be kind of focusing too much on yourself this, this month. It feels like make sure to um, accept this person. If you get a very strong vibe from them and you feel very happy with them, don't ignore them because I feel like they're going to really help you build um, an empire. I'm feeling building something that you've wanted to work on for quite a long time. And there's somebody who is very, very, um, I'm hearing helpful and statistical. So they're very, very smart. And I feel like you just need to focus on what cups you do have, not focus on what you don't have. I feel like in terms of love, I don't see, well, I do see somebody coming in, but I feel like you're not actually going to be in a relationship within this, this month period. I feel like it's going to be around the middle of September that you're going to actually establish a relationship. That or by the end of September, early October, it feels like for some of you guys, you could actually be getting into a relationship around Halloween. Uh, for some of you guys, you could have your actual birthday on Halloween. So obviously you might not be a Leo sun. Uh, it could be some of you guys are Scorpios as well, which I'm picking up on really strongly. Um, for this 10 of pentacles, it feels like you are definitely realizing what your priorities are. And it could mean that your priorities are more to do with um, yourself and not to do with love. And that's totally fine. And that could actually attract someone coming in because you may think about other people too much and not enough on yourself. So when you do focus on yourself, somebody actually comes in and you're like, really, <laughs> really? Like the first second I focus on myself. Definitely feels like you're focusing on a project though, a, a certain end goal and you will reach that goal. Yeah, so I feel like you're learning to just teach your heart to open up more. I feel like some of you guys, you can be I'm actually hearing the word single-minded, which sounds really negative, but I feel like it's more because you're a fixed sign. It can be that you don't see any other possibilities. So making sure to meditate, that will help you to clear your mind. But I do feel like you are learning to love in a different way and it feels much more positive and much more kind of balanced and mature and, and natural and safe, like all the, all the positive vibes here. So you could be meeting someone through work. You could know someone through work. This is somebody who is a really good influence. So I don't feel like it's anyone toxic. Make sure to uh, be very discerning about toxicity because there is a lot of communication going on this within this Venus Cancer and it feels like there's going to be a lot of 
conversations that may confuse you a little bit. So just be very grounded within communication. Try not to get too riled up with that. Learning to flow with the communication that comes in and learning to accept any new offers that do come in if, if you feel very good about them. Yeah, it feels like you guys are really learning to balance out your love life. I feel like you're learning to balance out um, work and love together. I feel very, very strong. Okay. Your reading was so quick, guys. Okay, so. So the energies we have here are we have Aquarius, we have Gemini, and we have Leo. So you could be connected with any of these star signs. And you could also be connecting more towards with your... Um, your independence. Okay, so I feel like you guys you're learning to have more independence. So if you've kind of been feeling like you are possibly relying on other people too much or you're kind of struggling with that kind of independence energy, I feel like you're relearning really independence this and this month period and I feel like you're learning to stand your ground and speak your truth. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below with also my crystal shop down below as well. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello my lovely Virgos, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys with the Venus in Cancer. So I feel like for you guys are really stepping into your power. There's definitely energy of motion coming in and transformation. So there is definitely energy of also flight and listening to your intuition. So we also have the otter underneath. I love this card, it's so cute. So with the dragonfly here, I feel like it's really taking flight and that instant transformation that you're coming into. So this Venus in Cancer is really helping you to transform. So I'm going to pull you um, the card from this book. Let's see. Not pull you a card. <laughs> Read you the card from this book. Let's see. All right. So we have Master of Light, Illusion and the Mind. So when in balance, sees clearly, joyful, magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. Focus on the breath. So this feels like you guys might be a little bit restless. You might be feeling a little bit kind of misty within your mind. And I do feel like it's because you're dealing with a lot of shadow work and that can really bring up a lot of fogginess, a bit of dizziness. You might be feeling a little bit dizzy. So that's kind of to do with the energies and things like that. It just feels like you're really bringing up that depth and bringing up that stuff that needs to come out. And you're really, <clears throat> and I'm coughing, so it does feel like to do with the throat chakra as well really bringing up that stuff so you might actually be feeling really kind of a bit ill a bit sick a little bit nauseous it's it's for a purpose guys it's just because you're bringing up a lot of just like gross emotional stuff that needs to come out and it's connecting to the feminine as well because the pointed down triangle is the feminine so i feel like you guys are really working on your feminine energy really learning to just be wholehearted with yourself in the face of just feeling unbalanced and really learn to balance yourself. So I feel like self-care is going to be really important within this time frame, okay? I mean, cancer is all about self-care, you know? It's the mother, it's the feminine. So I really feel like that's coming in for you guys. So let's see what's going on for my lovely Virgos within this Venus cancer energy. I'm getting the world and I'm also seeing Pluto. So you guys might actually have Virgo Pluto or cancer Pluto, something like that in your chart. Okay, so working on some projects, I love that. Really getting down and to the nitty gritty of a project. So I do feel like there could be something that you're working on creatively. And yes, burning bridges. I'm hearing burning bridges at both ends. Making sure you're not burning the candle at both ends. So making sure you're not overdoing it because some of you may be feeling a little bit trapped, a little bit confused. And that's totally fine because that means we're just working on those emotions. Let them come up because there's definitely... A massive renewal and I just got loads of shivers all the way down my arms and my spine so you guys are really coming out into this beautiful stunning energy where you're opening up and there's definitely going to be a little bit of nervousness because you guys are struggling to kind of assert yourself and it is the new you so you might have a little bit of dips but that's okay because I feel like this is just it's almost like a baby learning to crawl learning to walk learning to run you know it's all those energies definitely about communication guys sorry if I just hit the camera I'm going to pull you a couple more tarot cards. Let's move all these up a little bit. It definitely feels that you're just learning something new. You're kind of learning to just sprout wings and fly. So, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> really learning to um, give that emotional energy to yourself. I really do feel that like there's somebody coming in. Maybe not in this space of um, between the time frame on this video, but there's definitely somebody coming in who wants to be part of your life and you may have a little bit of confusion you're like why do you like me or like 
uh, kind of any, any sort of doubts, but there is definitely somebody coming in. I feel like some of you guys, you could have been single for quite a while, hence why you have a little bit of doubt. It could be that you've been kind of messed around quite a bit and this time it's, it's, it's your time. It feels like your time is, is now. And I feel like some of you guys, you could have already let this person go and you could have already gone through this energy and you may already be at the world energy where you're kind of just working on yourself and filling up your own cup and really investing in projects and any self-care that you need to do, maybe taking time off work and things like that, just to give yourself some self-care because it really feels like that is a very strong message. And I feel like some of you guys, you could be in this energy right now. And if you are... If you are in quite a confusing energy, just know it will pass. And it's all for this new cycle coming in, which is absolutely beautiful. I feel like this is connected to the moon really heavily. So you guys can be very, very connected to the moon, like just really heavily. Okay, let's see what's coming in for my lovely Virgos. Just getting a really soft energy from you guys. And Virgos do normally have a very soft energy. So really picking up on that. Be really kind to yourself. I know you guys can be really hard on yourself, so just be really kind to yourself for this time. Okay, so we have, yep, release and declutter heart chakra. That makes total sense. We then have peace, selenite, crown chakra, and we also have problems resolved. So this energy is going to really help some problems be released. So old karma is going to be no more, and you're going to come into a massive direction with your heart chakra. So I genuinely feel like... For some of you, obviously this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but for some of you guys, I genuinely feel like you're going to manifest somebody after. This is this has kind of gone into the next sign with Venus. I feel like you guys are really going to manifest somebody who's worth your time. Just keep following the direction of your heart. You could meet somebody within this time, but I don't feel like a relationship is there yet. It could mean afterwards, but obviously this is going to be a general reading, guys. So just take it as it resonates because it's going to be different for every single one of you, okay? Okay, so we have Leo, so you could be, next, could be connecting to a Leo. I feel like you're becoming much more assertive, much more, just much more oomph within you guys, really coming into that strong energy of power. And you could be working on something to do with clothing, you could be um, wearing something that makes you feel much more confident, but you definitely guys are connecting to the moon and you're, feel, you're really in your feels at the moment, really in your feelings. Um, you could, could go, okay, I can't speak. You guys could be going on a diet. You could be purifying and really kind of um, going into some daily rituals. So really taking care of yourself. And I do feel like you guys could be coming into well-being. So you could be working on a well-being project. You could be making candles, oils, that kind of thing. But I feel like some of you guys, you could meet someone through work. I'm feeling really strongly. So it could be um, even volunteering. I feel like it could be a tourist you guys are actually connecting to as well. So let's get you a couple of charms. Let's give us a little bit of a mixy mixy. I'm seeing you guys playing tennis, which is so random. Okay, we have Virgo. Yep, definitely coming into your own. I love when we get the same sign. And then we also have Aquarius. So we have Virgo, Gemini and Aquarius. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if this resonated, don't, uh, don't forget to comment down below if you would like to. And also all my private reading rates and crystal shop is down below in the description box. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely Libras. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming for you guys within this Venus Cancer energy. Alrighty. I feel like some of you guys are watching witchy programs, like maybe um, YouTubers, but it feels like more to do with like, uh, like I feel like I'm actually hearing Buffy. I don't know if you guys are watching just something to do with witches, I feel like a witchy TV show or something like that. I'm actually hearing like Pretty Little Liars. I don't know if to do with witches, but it feels like something like that, kind of mysterious. This one? No, not that one, okay. Let's keep shuffling. There we go. Wow, lots of wisdom for you guys. So this card actually indicates money and a windfall of money coming in, so that is beautiful. And Venus is to do with Libra, so I really feel like you guys are really connecting with that. We also have the fox. So for you guys, this is kind of like a very, very sneaky energy, and I feel like foxes kind of prey on owls, so it's kind of making sure that you are around good people and people who are very supportive of you. There might be a, a few people who kind of want to do you over a little bit, so just be aware of that. 
be aware of that energy and kind of make sure to ground yourself within that energy. Sorry about the orientation if it's just slightly different, I had to change out my battery. All right, so let's see what else is coming towards you guys. I feel like you're really learning to be um, wise. I do feel like you're gonna get a lot of new ideas, which is so funny because you literally got the Page of Swords, which is all about ideas. Yeah, there's definitely somebody around you who's really sweet on you. Um, I don't ever say sweet on you, so you guys might say that yourself. Feels like a Pisces energy. Very, very mothering energy. So that could be your energy or theirs. It feels like somebody who's very, very earthy as well. So it could be a water sign or an earth sign and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like for you guys, you're definitely coming into love. I feel like for you guys who are single, definitely somebody around you who really wants to invest in you. Somebody who is ready to give you what it is that you want out of love. Someone who's mature, someone who's balanced. It feels very natural. It feels like because you guys have been working on yourself, this person is, has also been working on themselves. It may take a little bit of time, so I don't feel like it's gonna be, might not be exactly in this time frame. It could be. So watch out for that. Um, watch out for any new people who wanna come in, who wanna kind of invest in you, because I feel like that's really coming in very strongly. That owl is really beautiful. Like I keep looking at the owl. So I feel like you guys are just relaxed. I feel like it's just relaxing into this energy and just kind of, I feel like you guys really like the nighttime as well. So just being very relaxed and kind of, yeah, you're definitely waiting on something. I feel like just focus on your own projects and that's gonna help you to manifest this person because you're no longer attached to that energy of wanting and needing. It's like, this person's gonna come in really easily. I love how I've got the Page of Cups and then the King of Cups. It's kind of like, you meet this person, get to know them, and then they turn into a relationship. It could be somebody who comes back from the past who kind of wants your energy because you're basically in a relationship. I feel by the time this, this old person comes in, you're essentially in a relationship. So some of you guys, I feel like you could be meeting your person within this Venus in Cancer energy. Not everyone, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like you could meet someone with the letter um, J, D, or O. So just um, that just came to me really strongly. And P, S, I, and U. I'm picking up those letters really strongly. So just um, take that as it resonates. There's definitely energy of like, okay, you're here. I'm really happy you're here, but I'm honestly not like totally bothered. You have to put in the effort to kind of be with me. Obviously, that's perfect because you want to have your boundaries up. So I feel like this is really beautiful. It's just like you're enjoying your own energy and really learning to just uh, grow and work on yourself. And this person then, they might not, they might actually come in and be a little bit immature and then kind of go back, work on themselves and come back. But that's for some of you guys. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person is just ready to love, I feel. And I feel like you're ready to love as well. So as I said, take this as it resonates, guys. But I feel like this is very, very positive. I feel like you're planting the seeds for something new to come in, which is so positive. Okay, so we have Perido, teach heart chakra. So you're definitely teaching yourself to come first. You're teaching your heart to come first. You guys care about everyone else apart from yourself a lot of the time. So really investing in yourself this time and living in the present moment, not rushing anything. Okay, and you are definitely healing your heart chakra. So definitely I'm hearing use creativity as a distraction. And sometimes distractions can be very, very positive, you know, because it can take away the um, instant, the, feel, the need for instant gratification. So that's really, really positive for you guys. Okay, so we have Aquarius. So another fellow air sign. And we have Ninth House Seeking. Let's pick one more. I'm really connecting with this this guy here. I feel like some of you guys you could be meeting someone who looks like that. You could, this is really random. You guys could actually meet someone through a grandparent. So it could be somebody's grandson, granddaughter that you could meet. Very random, but that's kind of what I'm picking up on. It could be a family friend who you meet as well, who you've never met before, or somebody you never thought was gonna be interested in you or you, you were never interested in them. 
but it's gonna be somebody coming in who is really intimate with you, who really wants intimacy with you, and this could just even be hand-holding, like it could be your first ever relationship and you're kind of nervous about that. So it could also mean that you haven't been in a relationship for quite a long time and it brings in that intimacy back into your life. So this is Aquarius is you being that independent person, very grounded, and therefore you're then bringing in this energy of someone new coming in and it's kind of drawing this person in. I feel like some of you guys are playing tennis and sometimes when I get that energy uh, from my intuition, it's kind of like you are batting away any negativity that you don't need anymore. So you're not really listening to anyone who's not giving you 100% and you want mutual you know, communication, you want, you, you want mutual effort, which everyone should, everyone deserves that. So I feel like you're gonna manifest in somebody who puts in the effort for you, they're very grounded, they're very stable, and they're somebody who most likely has a lot of travel experience or someone who possibly has like a travel Instagram, likes photography, something like that. Um, they could just be very, I'm hearing very receptive. They're very receptive, what does that mean? So they're always gonna be listening to you. They're always, they're very aware, they're very intuitive as well. So you're gonna be picking up on this person before they come in most likely. And you're gonna go through a massive breakthrough in your love life. So. It's gonna make you realize a lot about yourself and possibly the thing you've been putting up with, but actually those things have shaped you and they've helped you to become the person that you are. Oops, okay, so we have Aquarius. Is Aquarius? Yeah, Aquarius, that's beautiful. I'll put that right on the Aquarius card. We then have Gemini. We have Leo. And we also have Libra, beautiful. So. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you would like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello my lovely Scorpios. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So let's have a look and see what animal is your animal for this month or so. This is beautiful Venus in Cancer energy. What's coming for you guys within your love life? What are you dealing with? I feel like you're definitely shedding your old skin. I keep looking at that cobra coming out. I'm hearing people are scared of you, <laughs> which is good because it feels like you've been dealing with a lot of crap in love and now people are like not definitely not having any of it. You're not attracting that negative energy anymore. So if you've been dealing with a lot of that in the past, it's, it's, it's going now. I'm hearing the number six and the number nine and the number zero coming in really strongly. I'm hearing the song Keep Swimming from Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Very beautiful. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Working on all those chakras we love. Okay, I love this card. I love this card. So this is actually upright. Okay, sorry. My guys like to help me whether it's upright or in the reverse. So this is beautiful you guys could be seeing bats bats could be a really big synchronicity this is about you transforming this is about you working on your shadows and coming out of your shadows into the light which is so 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 beautiful it's almost like you're going from the bat to the stingray which normally i'd say is the other way around because the bat was underneath the deck but that is really really positive so i'm gonna have a look in the book for this because i haven't got the stingray before so let me have a look and see. So it's funny how I said just keep swimming and the next card along is the fish, so I love that. All right, developing confidence, sense of self or spine. So when in balance, it says eager, wants to grow. When out of balance, blames others, quit. To bring into balance, move through the discomfort, wow. So you guys have definitely been going through some discomfort. You might be feeling kind of uncomfortable. And this is saying that you're moving from the old easy, comfortable, familiar into the new, challenging, uncomfortable and unfamiliar. So it says pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of Dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. So really working on whatever is coming up for you. And if there's something that's really uncomfortable, it's actually pushing you towards your personal growth and your partner coming in. If you guys are single, this is a really, really strong energy, especially with the blames others. You might feel the need to blame others in terms of how they treated you or wanting to quit this energy. I genuinely feel like they're saying to quit people who have been toxic to you, not yourself. The last thing you wanna do is quit yourself because you're the one who's in charge here, okay? 
And I feel like stingrays are such beautiful animals. They just kind of glide through and they're very much to do with Moana. I don't know if, you've ever, if any of you guys have seen the film Moana. I just love that film. It's so spiritual and beautiful. So I feel like this is really, really important for you to work on whatever it is that you're and it's interesting because it's like moving through the discomfort it's not like you're in discomfort or you're going to stay there it's like you're just moving through it so it's literally getting to the other side and that's where that bat spirit is coming in you're actually flying away for, through the discomfort so to bring into balance move through the discomfort that is definitely what i'm feeling absolutely beautiful i'm really picking up on um gold tiger's eye and also gold stone for you guys as crystal recommendations okie dokie so we have oh my god i love this so much yay <laughs> that's so cute okay so the full is the first card that comes out that is so powerful this is this is making me my oh my god oh look at that guys okay this is amazing you guys might also be connected with amethyst because this girl's holding this little purple crystal so you might be connected with amethyst or points that sort of thing oh i love this this is so cute i mean i'm really connecting with purple at the moment as you guys can see <laughs> with my amethysts so and i'm a scorpio so it makes sense right <laughs> okay so we have the nine of swords so don't doubt yourself this is literally what the stingray is saying is to keep going don't quit don't quit don't quit okay and when I repeat something, the, the, your guides are really like my, sorry, my guides are really getting you to just not quit, okay? It's really jamming that message into your head because it's saying that you are supported, it's not gonna be forever. Like, look, this is like the tiniest little bump. That's like the tiniest little bump between the sun and the king of pentacles. Like, this is you. Oh my God, so much realization about myself. Oh my God, so scary. All these new things about myself that I'm realizing. And now I'm stable. It's like just a little blip, just a little blip. And you're like, Vicky, it doesn't feel like a little blip, but it's bringing you towards a partner, someone who's emotionally invested in you. You are so strong, Scorpio. You are so, 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 so strong. You've been through so much. You really have. And now is the time to focus on you and your power and how much you can give to this world. And you have so much um, fire within you as well. I mean, being ruled by Pluto and Mars, you definitely have that fire energy. So we have the Knight of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So that is so damn powerful. Like you guys are moving forward real quick. Like this energy of stress and anxiety is literally, that could easily just be a week of that and it's done. Like it, it's not gonna hang around. And we have the, ma the Magician as well and we also have the four of cups so you might be debating on this new start this person coming in you're like is this the right person i don't know if this is right this is the right thing for you girl like this is the right thing for you and this is somebody who is so impressive i'm hearing they they've got so much credentials <laughs> which doesn't sound like something that's sexy but they are like they're really really intelligent they're very masculine um obviously if you're interested in, in more of a feminine that's obviously flip the roles um but it feels like you're definitely concentrating on your powerhouse your goals your your interests and it's powering that ambition within you and look how powerful this is this is so 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 powerful so you guys have this energy within you and you guys are so like you're you've gotten so far like why quit now um and it feels very powerful. You could manifesting a partner with a dog as well, quite a large dog, possibly a husky or something like that, um, or like a pit bull, I don't know, somebody who has quite a large dog. Um, but it feels like you're gonna feel this person before they come in. You guys are very intuitive, so you're probably gonna, you are definitely gonna feel this person when they come in, like intuitively. So you might meet this person through work as well. They could help you with a work endeavor. They could be um, quite intuitive also. They might kind of come in when you're feeling a little bit down and you're like, I don't know if this is the right situation, but I feel like that's for some of you guys. For some of you, it might be that you have a bad dream and that's when they come in. It's kind of like this is, all these bad dreams are clearing the way for this new person to come in. So I feel like definitely feeling the energy, feeling that stress and moving through it. Keep freaking going. You're working through all your chakras. That's a huge thing. That's a big deal for you guys. All right, so crystal card, let's see what wants to come through. You're getting so much success and you're definitely working on your throat chakra. You're working on connecting to your guides. Angel light is a very strong crystal. It's connecting to your angels as well and understand that your angels are there supporting you, they're with you. And 
knowing that this isn't going to last forever and having compassion for yourself and not being hard on yourself. If you can't do something that day, if you feel sad, if you feel unhappy, if you feel depressed, don't be hard on yourself. That's the last thing you need. You need to be compassionate towards yourself. So this Venus in Cancer is really bringing you your goals. I genuinely feel like you could be in a relationship by the end of this time frame. Yeah, your outlook is changing. The way you see life and your, and your life and the way you see yourself is definitely changing. Um, the way you see how you've reacted in the past is coming up and you're really um, coming into expression and you could be changing your point of view and your body image as well. So you could be manifesting a Gemini or you could be manifesting who's somebody who's very, very good at communicating. This is you working on your communication as well. Yeah, really surrendering to this stuff because this is like the last leg. It's like the last leg before you manifest your person. You're so close right now. You are so, so close right now. You could be manifesting a Pisces as well. I'm going to pull you one more card. Beautiful. Could even be a Sagittarius. Someone who is a fire sign. Someone who's very driven. I'm getting like all the signs. So obviously take it as it resonates, guys. But you remember to water yourself. Remember to keep, keep hydrated. Um, see that you're going to see the potential in yourself more and more and more. Over the, over the time, especially with the sun card, like, that's so positive. Okay, let's get you some star signs. This could be the energy that you're working with, could be people you're going to meet, that kind of thing. All right, so we have Scorpio, beautiful. That's been coming up a lot today. The people who I'm actually reading for their sign is coming, which is beautiful because it means you're really working on yourself and you're doing a good job. We have Scorpio, Virgo and Capricorn. Make sure to not overdo it with work. Give yourself space and time to... Um, relax and we also have Aries beautiful someone who's also as, as passionate as you as well could be a friendship also coming through so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon bye hello Sagittarius thank you so much for clicking on this video let's get started with your reading let's see what's coming to for you guys with Venus in Cancer Do one more big shuffle. Okie dokie. Ooh, we got two. Okay, whoa, that is a lot of fire going on. <laughs> okay, so we have the cheetah and we have the tarantula. So I'm gonna see if I can fit both of these two on here. Oops, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. So I'm gonna put the cheetah here and we're gonna put the tarantula here. <laughs> Okay, so for you guys, really, really strong energy. Wanting to move forward but can't, that could be your energy right now. We also have the earthworm. So you might be struggling with moving forward, okay? You might be feeling a little bit restricted in your love life. You might be feeling like, okay, when is it my turn? Um, I'm just going to look this up in the book as well, guys. So it does feel like you are getting somewhere, but it does feel kind of slow. So working with this energy, this is, this is the energy that's quite prominent anyway. Um, it's basically feeling a little bit impatient, okay? So you guys are definitely working through this energy. And the tarantula, I actually feel like is more balanced. So I feel like you could be kind of dipping in and out of this energy. You might not be feeling like it's all the time, but this tarantula, I feel like is quite patient, quite slow, quite chill. So when the tarantula is in balance, it says follow the intuition. When out of balance, hesitate, over intellectualizes. So this is what I'm feeling is you guys are possibly over stimulated make sure to get some alone time maybe do some reading maybe get some, do some meditation watch something you really enjoy because I feel like there's something that you need to work on right now and it could be impatience but it's also learning to not put out your fire but also not to fuel it <laughs> I feel like you guys could be a little bit angry within this period of time and it could be because with this energy of the cancer it's really showing you there's something to do with love and working on your love life, really working on um, the love energy that's coming through. It could be just really focusing on compassion and compassion for yourself and yeah, just working on being compassionate towards yourself and that's all you can really do, you know? And I feel like you're moving through quite an uncomfortable stage but it's not gonna last forever, okay? So let's get you some tarot. I do apologize about my audio if it isn't all that. Letting you guys know. 
keeps playing up so if it's not all that that is why okay so i feel like with this seven of swords and the five of cups yeah you guys are really going for it this is going to be very temporary okay this is very temporary get some sound bowls going i feel like get some sound healing if you can or just listen to some um like heart chakra music something's going to shift your energy because i feel like you guys can really put your guard up sometimes and not be connected too much to your emotions and it can be quite hard for you to do that so talk to friends about this talk to family about this um i'm really feeling in my throat chakra like it's really really struggling to get something out so there could be something that's quite stuck within you and i feel like i'm wearing a witch's hat which is very random i'm not wearing one but it feels like i am so i don't know if you're kind of watching anything that's witchy i mean not to do with youtube i mean more like a tv show or something um but it feels like that could be something you're quite passionate about so i definitely don't feel like this energy is going to last forever guys as i said like I feel like it's something temporary and it feels like you're just moving through it. It's almost like going really deep into it and then moving out. And it could be that you're clearing out a, lo a load of old energy that no longer needs to be there. So just, this is like a temporary blip. And I'm really concentrating on the lanterns in this card. So you're really lighting the way for yourself. I feel like you might be quite hard on yourself because you feel like you're not really getting anywhere. Focus on the positives guys, because we do have a partnership forming. It's just, you and your person are going through literally the same thing. I feel like you're going to have this in common where you're like, yeah, my love life was quite hard for a while. I was single. I didn't really have anyone, you know, and it was quite hard. There was a lot of things I was going through. It felt really kind of slow and I was getting impatient. And this person's like, well, you just <laughs> explained my life story. So this is you lighting the way for yourself. So I feel like it's some sort of darkness you're going through. And this is the seven of sword energy. So you could be connecting to crows and like uh, black colored animals. And we do have the tarantula here. So this is kind of like very, very deep stuff. And it feels like just a tiny little last bit and then the lovers comes in. So I feel like just keep doing things that make you happy, do things that make you laugh, um, watch things that make you laugh and keep moving. Just keep moving, like move your body, dance, sing, um, walk run just keep moving your body whether whatever it is that helps you clear this energy because when you're feeling impatient this is all this kind of kundalini energy that's kind of built up and it could be around your solar plexus as well you could feel the need to like punch someone or something so just be very wary of that um but this is this is all energy that's coming up for you to release okay so acknowledging and releasing is very important maybe doing some eft i do have a video on this as well um if i remember i will link it down below if not please comment down below and i will give you the link um for others to share as well wow you guys got a lot of cards okay so we have the peridot teach heart chakra we then have Pronite, release and declutter heart chakra. Yeah, 100%. You guys are really releasing stuff. You're teaching yourself that this isn't the only way of living, okay? You're not going to be like this forever. You aren't going to be single forever. It will be... And you're teaching yourself to just open yourself up to love as well. And knowing that it is safe to love. You don't have to be independent all the time, guys, okay? You can rely on other people. Learn to trust people as well. And you're really working through this. So it's almost like heart chakra, heart chakra, heart chakra. Calmness resolved so it's kind of like this isn't going to last forever i feel like this is going to be the next two weeks and then it's gonna it's gonna start to shift okay yeah beautiful this is what scorpio got as well so really working with your angels um you could be buying things that have angel symbolism on it so maybe like um i think a t-shirt t-shirt okay or a painting a clock with an angel on it Right, so it's gonna be some opportunities for you to express your creativity. Um, somebody could come in who's very artistic and kind of welcomes you really nicely. They could actually be a leader of a group and you're part of this group. Could be a new group that you're kind of joining. But you're definitely working on what you're passionate about. And the more you do this, the less it will, it will take the stress off love as well. You could be uh, meeting a Leo as well, working with that Leo energy, so another beautiful fire sign. Someone who's balanced though, someone who's really worked on themselves. It could be a Pisces as well. Someone who's very gentle, someone who's very alluring, very sexy, that kind of energy. Okay, so let's get you some charms. Let's see who else you could be dealing with or any of the energy that you're working with. Okay, we have Capricorn, 
So we've really focused on work and ambition. Have Gemini. Working with others, I feel like is really important for you within this Cancer Venus. Working with others, group activities, therapy, kind of bouncing ideas off of each other as well. So that's your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that's also down below. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's coming in for you guys for this Venus in Cancer Energy. Let's see what wants to come through. Let's give these guys a good old shuffle. Keep picking up on Monopoly today, and I don't know why. So it might be for you guys. You might be playing Monopoly or feeling like you're playing Monopoly. Okay, so we have the butterfly. Beautiful. So I actually got this in reverse. So I'm not going to put it in reverse because I feel like that's quite negative. But this feels like you're struggling to come out of your chrysalis. That's what it feels like. It's like you're struggling to transform or you're struggling in the transformation. So you could have something that you're really wanted to work and you're very passionate about, but you're struggling to actually get it done, possibly because of what's going on around the world right now, possible struggles with kind of getting the income or getting things transported that you need sort of thing through the post or whatever. It feels like you're hitting a lot of roadblocks, but this butterfly is also very positive because when it's upright, it's showing magical transformation. It's showing exploration, freedom, all that stuff. So it feels like you are getting there. It's just quite slowly. So just be really patient with yourself, being really, really kind. I'm also going to look this up in the book and we're going to see what it says as well. If there's any extra messages that want to come through. This is undergoing great change and transformation. So when in balance, cheerful, grateful, when out of balance, fragile and frustrated to bring into balance the daily routine. So you guys might actually be out of work at the moment and it could be putting a lot of strain on yourself. Um, I feel like a daily routine would really, really help you guys, especially because you guys are Capricorn and Capricorns do kind of thrive off of a daily routine. A lot of earth signs do. So making sure to put that into place, it could literally be a health routine. It could be meditating. It could be eating something healthy every day. Just focusing on a goal because I feel like that's bringing you towards love and I feel like you guys are starting to open up more to love as well. Um, and you could be meeting somebody through work as well actually um we could be meeting somebody through a new work endeavor so if you guys are looking for work i see that coming in for you guys so my beautiful capricornians yes look at that ultimate transformation the tower is crumbling the old you is going bye bye we don't need her anymore see you later and there's also butterflies on this card as well Okay, so we have the five of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are in competition with yourself or with somebody else and that's starting to release. Just work on yourself, guys. Work on your own projects. Just got a massive twinge in my leg. So you guys might be feeling that as well. Make sure to do some stretching. I feel like opening your hips would be really good. So hip opening, yoga poses. Yeah, just building your own energy and focusing on speaking your truth as well. Let me just move these up a little bit. Okay, and then we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be connecting with another earth sign. I definitely feel like you're connecting with somebody at work or something to do with work or career. Somebody who's very career orientated. So they could even help you get a career, um, like a, a job. They could even, <laughs> a job. <laughs> they could even help you get a job. They could be somebody who is, um, I can't remember what they're called, but somebody who's like an agent who helps you get a job as well and that could be your partner you know it could be somebody who you're really interested in and this is somebody who you who you are very very connected with they could also be really connected with animals and dogs things like that um but there's somebody who you could actually start having dreams about first before you meet them and i feel like for you guys that my guides are screaming at me and they're saying stop being so practical which i know is like your energy but i feel like it's saying stop being so practical and like why do why are we saying stop being so practical because there's because they're saying you're being too rigid make sure to just chill out and add more emotion to whatever you're working on so if there's something you feel like it has to have a certain outcome be aware that the outcome might not happen it might be a different outcome but it doesn't mean it's not going to be worse it could be better than what you actually have in mind Okay, so in terms of love, I feel like you're focusing on laughter, you're focusing on happiness. 
I do see somebody coming in maybe near the end of this Venus in Cancer because I do feel like you guys are really heeding your heart right now. So you are definitely working on a lot of energy and calming, being calm through this energy too. Um, just really like focusing on compassion for yourself. This is a very Scorpionic energy and I'm pretty sure Scorpio got compassion as well. So you might have Scorpio in your chart or connected to somebody who's also a Scorpio. So having compassion for yourself is really, really important and passion, focusing on things that you're really passionate about. Have things for yourself. It's not always about everyone else. Sometimes it is about you guys, <laughs> you know? Focusing on what you are passionate about and finding the light within that. I feel like you guys might be working with a mother figure. So you might actually be uh, working physically with them. Like you might have a job, you might be working in the family business, that sort of thing. It feels like you could meet someone through a mother figure as well. It doesn't actually have to be a mum. It could even be a friend who you consider as a more of a mother figure. Um, but it feels like some, it could be an aunt as well that you're really, really connecting to. It just feels like you're really focused on um, the end goal of this transformation. And don't rush it, guys. Like you can't rush transformation. It, 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 it feels quite deep and quite intense. But once you get out the other side, oh my God, you're going to have so many ideas. You're going to be like, wow, <laughs> I feel so inspired. Some of you guys, you could actually be quitting your job within this time frame and getting a new job that really suits you and um, fits your lifestyle much better. Making sure to not put up with what you don't have to put up with, guys, and speak your truth. I feel like you're manifesting somebody who's very much um, to do the good communication. I don't feel like there's a massive load of new people coming in, but I feel like it could be a potential person. Could be a air sign or an earth sign. Okay, we have the 12th. Yeah, you guys are in a very similar energy to another sign that I've totally forgotten. I think it might be Cancer who's going through this, but I cannot remember, but. Okay, we also have Uranus Revolution. So yeah, you're you guys are really going through a really big transformation, learning to speak your truth. And knowing that your, your truth is important, your words are important, and practice what you preach, I feel, as well. And with this Uranus revolution is you're really um, being innovative. There's something innovative that's coming in for you. It's going to give you an idea, and it could be connected to your love, as, love life as well. They're not giving me an idea of what this is, but it could be something to do with your love life. It could be that you collaborate with somebody, and that could be your future partner. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Let's get a couple of star signs here. Okay, we have Cancer. Okay, that's beautiful. I literally just mentioned Cancer, so that's crazy. So you could be connected with a Cancerian. We have Leo. Oops, we have Capricorn. That keeps coming up. Like, it keeps happening today, which is so cool. And then we have Libra. So coming into balance with your love life as well. Learning to balance your work life and your emotions as well. And learning to, to, to keep coming back to yourself and knowing that work isn't the most important thing. You are the most important thing, working on your health and your mental health and your emotional health and bringing in that love energy. I really love that. I feel like you could be connecting really heavily with somebody who's got a lot of water in their chart and it's going to help you to open your heart up more and heal your heart and anything that you haven't really dealt with, that's going to start to come up, but it's going to be beautiful and it's really going to help you to express love that possibly you haven't been able to express to somebody and it's going to bring in somebody very, very beautiful. I'm also picking up on the Raul, Raul Dahl um, books. I don't know how to spell his name. Is it R-A-H-L-D-A-H-L? I don't know. But that's kind of uh, an author that I'm picking up on. And also uh, Dr. Seuss. I'm picking up on a lot of like kids' books. So I'm not sure why I'm picking up on that. But could be, I'm actually seeing um, your partner who you could be currently with already or a future partner coming in who is going to read to your children, which is so cute. Whether you have children or not, future children... <laughs> It was very, very beautiful. And I also see you shopping as well um, and having a really good time. Obviously, when all this lockdown business is sorted, it's going to be much more fun for us as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you would like to check out any of my crystals or my crystal store, that is also down below as well. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely Aquarius. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys for your Venus in Cancer energy. Okay. Aquarius, Aquarius. 
Okay, that keeps happening. We keep getting two cards. Okay, so underneath we have the starfish. I love that. Clinging onto things that no longer serve you. Make sure to recognize the site you're clinging onto. The universe will try and push you away from it because you no longer need it in your life, okay? And it could pertain to anything. It could be uh, emotional, spiritual, mental. It just feels like something you're really pulling away from now. And the universe is helping you to become strong within this energy. It could be an old belief system as well about yourself. Um, right, so I'm going to have a look in the book for this. So uh, to give us a little bit more info. So let's have a look at the hawk first. So the hawk is a very, very strong energy. This is a really powerful powerhouse of an energy. So I really feel like for you guys, this is a sign that there's gonna be some massive change for you. So look out for hawks and any kind of large birds of prey. They're gonna be a really big sign for you, especially like hawks and lions are absolute leaders. You know, they're very, very strong energies. So this is a bird that says, when in balance, sees clearly, intuitive. When out of balance, sees too much, suspicious. To bring into balance a perspective shift. So this is showing me that you guys are becoming more intuitive and you're possibly carrying a bit of heavy weight. So I feel like you're gonna to start to let this go. I feel like your love life isn't the most important for you guys right now, but if it is, I do feel like you are aiming towards that and you are on that path, okay? So you're learning to step into your own power. You're learning to appreciate who you are my stomach just did a really weird thing i'm sorry if you heard that um you're you're coming into your own energy and you're really learning to just focus on yourself and focus on your 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 leadership skills and this could be in any situation this could be to do with dealing with family yourself it just feels like you're approaching situations with more energy and I feel like for those of you, this is a bit of tea, but I feel like for those of you who are not very good communicators, this is gonna be a really, really, really big step for you because I feel like you're learning to communicate more. And this could be for some of you, and I just burped, so that's clarification. I feel like you guys are really working on your throat chakra and there's definitely an energy of communication. It's kind of like stepping into your power, but also learning that, you don't have to speak in every situation. So sometimes you can just observe and listen. You don't actually have to speak in every situation is what I'm hearing really strongly, but also learn to lead with just your actions and not your words. So they're showing me to pull from this uh, cauldron first. So that's what we're gonna do. I do normally do this last, but we're gonna pull from it first. Okay, so we have Sagittarius. Oh no, that's not, uh, that's Aquarius, Never mind. <laughs> okay, it's Aquarius, not Sagittarius. We have Gemini. And we have Pisces. Yeah, you guys are really becoming much more intuitive. Really learn to lead with your intuition as well. And learn to trust your intuition. Learning that that's a really important tool. Um, and really learn to just pick up intuition. You're going to pick up some vibes from people who, that may be a bit uncomfortable. You're like, okay, why do I feel kind of crappy after talking to this person? And this is you guys here, the Queen of Swords. This is because you are your energy is sucking up that person's energy so just be aware of that and learn to release any energy that no longer serves you so you could be meeting with a fire sign as well but this is also learn to step into your power and nine as i say you don't have to speak in every single situation so this person coming in could help you release a lot of old energy and a lot of things that no longer serve you because you're looking at the situation like you know what I'm not going to stress about it anymore. And this is going to dip in and out, guys. You're not going to be obviously completely balanced all the time because that's not how life works. But I feel like you guys are really wanting to travel as well. I feel like you guys are really travel orientated for those of you who picked this, to, for those of you who are watching this reading. It feels like try not to lock up emotions. You don't have to think logically all the time, okay? Not everything needs logic. Sometimes it even needs space to just sit and sit with it. And sometimes it does need to be worked on, but if there's something you can do about it, then do. And if you can't do literally anything about this situation, you don't have to. Sometimes things don't need an answer. Sometimes you just need to sit back and observe. And I feel like for those of you who connect more to masculines in love. I feel like you're learning to be the masculine yourself. So you can then attract someone who also has a very balanced masculine energy. And I'm, I keep looking at the bottom of this guy's boot and I'm picking up on Toy Story and the fact that he writes Andy on the back. I don't know why I'm, I'm picking up on that, but it feels like you're kind of, you're going back to your childhood in some ways. You could be learning about inner, the inner child. You could be 
focusing on your inner child and also coming back into your childlike energy and learning that that is the best way to be, you know, in a very receptive energy where you're just taking on whatever comes for you. And you're really on a path of self-discovery right now. So I feel if you guys don't look up your emotions, you don't have to be like this all the time. You can feel things and there's an energy of you can let your walls down because I feel like if somebody wanted to come in that is very, very interested in you, all right? Some of you guys, you could live in the desert or be drawn to the desert in some way. I feel like some of you guys are really working on your business and trusting that that's going to work out. So you could meet somebody through business. It could be somebody who is from a foreign country as well because we did have the two of wands with the emperor. So an Aries who's possibly quite far away, but you will be in contact with this person, okay? It's going to be somebody who is very good at communicating. They're very clear with their communication. Um, you can trust this person as well. They're very intuitive and they're somebody who has a lot of ideas and they're going to help you with that. So obviously, if you're not really kind of connecting with love right now, or you're not really interested or you are partnered already and you're not really wanting anyone new, I do feel like business is very important to you guys. And obviously, if you are single and you're still working on business, I do I do feel that as well. But I feel like those of you, I'm, I'm being connected more to those of you who aren't really into love. So if you're not really interested in kind of any new relationships, I just see what's important is to just focus, keep focusing on new ideas and expanding your knowledge on certain subjects because that's really going to expand um, your awareness and also it's going to help a lot of people. I feel like you're going to discover topics that's going to help people and it's going to help them with their self-discovery journey, okay? I feel like some of you guys are going to get takeaways. <laughs> I'm really picking up on that. Imperial Chinese especially, like Chinese takeaway. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Really strong. <laughs> okay. I can see you guys walking through the desert and you're kind of a bit, you're kind of, you're, you're very happy there though. So I feel like you're definitely discovering new energy. She could be moving house quite soon as well. We have Capricorn, Saturn. So really working on work and being very, putting your head down within work. And that's going to actually um, bring in somebody new. It could be a Pisces because you guys aren't then feeling like that struggle with wanting a relationship and needing it. It's like you're just setting back and sitting back and settling back and just observing like we have here and seeing things from afar as well. I mean, that's probably why I picked up on this as Sagittarius because I feel like Sagittarius can see things from far away and not be kind of too much into it and overwhelmed. So Leo here as well, learning to enjoy the path, even if it's not where you want to be right now, still learning to enjoy it. I feel like that's a really, really strong message for you guys. Um, I feel like cinnabars are really strong crystals. So look at the properties for that, guys. It could be very good for your fit for any physical ailments. It could be good for periods as well, I'm picking up on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment if it resonated. And if you guys would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below. Same with my uh, crystal shop, also down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello Pisces, thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's coming through for you guys for Venus in Cancer. Let's see what's coming through. So what is my beautiful Pisces working on within this month or so? Let's see what's coming through for you guys. Okay, that was quick. All right, so we have the butterfly major transformation, which is beautiful. That's underneath the peacock. So this peacock is really funny. I don't know why, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> it's like really staring you down. I have like bits on my table. Sorry, guys. It's not really bothering me. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the peacock is showing us. I'm going to have a look in the book because sometimes it has extra messages. I really feel like you guys are being hard on yourself so make sure to take off the brakes for that and I feel like you're learning to be seen as well. And you're kind of warding off any predators aka like people who are like fuck boys or anyone who no longer serves you you're really warding them off. You're kind of like look I know my worth go away <laughs> leave me alone. So this is when in balance confident and kind when out of balance can't digest situations. To bring into balance, meditate on the navel. So the navel is your solar plexus. So it could be the sacral chakra as well. So this is about confidence. This is about sexuality, creativity. So it says the beauty of the peacock is unra unraveled. Sorry. It's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life. So it does not harbour resent, conflict or pain or past pain within its psyche. 
The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and others. So it says inner beauty, compassion, assimilator of anything. So it's almost like this, this energy is not taking on every single person's problems. Not taking on all your problems as if they're the end of the world, I feel. And I know this is really difficult being a water sign. I know I, I am that. So um, it can be really, really difficult to uh, not go into emotions, 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 not going into them too much. But I feel like for you guys, it's just seeing it as it is and knowing it will pass. So if you're going through quite an intense transformational energy right now, knowing that it will pass. So I've got a feeling that this reading is going to be very, very positive. I just got a massive wave of like, ah, oh, like new energy coming in. So I feel like your love life is really going to pick up. I'm picking up on the next like five weeks, five months, even five days. I feel like you guys are really going to get some new emotion, emotion and new lease of life to do with your love life as well. Like you're really learning to um, focus on yep, burning bridges, l releasing the old, really going inwards as well. And for you guys, you might still be going inwards. For others of you, you might be I'm feeling, feeling dizzy. I'm feeling very dizzy right now. So you guys might be feeling quite dizzy. So just be aware of that. Uh, make sure to hydrate, make sure to eat some good food, have a bath, you know, make sure you're regulating good temperature because it is quite hot at the moment, obviously depending on where you're living right now. But you guys are working through this energy, like working through it and we're getting a lot of blue here. So really working on those throat chakras, really working on that emotion and not being bothered by things, learning to not be bothered. So this is a lot of intense energy and it's funny because I was picking up on something very positive, but we actually have a lot, quite a few negative cards here, but that's, that's good guys, okay, it's okay because this is something that you're working through. I feel like this Cancer and Venus is actually making you um, see things within yourself and see your worth. So the reason why we've got quite a few cards around the uh, about cups and swords is because it's a lot to do with your psyche and a lot to do with letting go of things that no longer serve you and not dealing with people who don't deserve your energy and I thought like you could be meeting a earth sign very very soon somebody who is a past life relationship someone you may have entertained in a past life so you guys this person could be coming back from the past but I also feel like this person if not from the past and you wanted something completely different or completely new this is someone who is very nurturing, very like in their masculine energy. So obviously if you're more into feminines, just switch the roles, switch. Um, Cause obviously this is gonna be somebody you're really interested in. So obviously it's gonna be who your preference is. And it's gonna be somebody who is gonna invest in you. They could give you a lot of money as well. They could physically give you emotional and financial investment. I feel like it's somebody who's going to kickstart your career or help you within your career. So I feel like they have a lot of knowledge in some form of area in career. So they could have a lot of financial experience, a lot of, I'm hearing health experience. So you might want to do something in health and they have a lot of knowledge on that. They could be somebody who um, is a fitness instructor, fitness trainer, that kind of thing. Even a yoga instructor, something like that could work at a yoga studio. But I feel like this person is very, 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 mature and I feel like you're going to really really like this person very stable very um interested in you and just just yeah really really patient and kind and I feel like this is somebody you're definitely working up towards so I don't feel like you're going to meet them yet I think it's going to be in the next few weeks to a few months possibly like in the next couple of months I'm hearing actually around September you guys could have a glimpse of who this person is I feel like you might meet this person at a meeting or some sort of get together with friends or in a group setting. Like I'm actually seeing like a affair or something. So obviously when lockdown is pretty much sorted, it just, but it feels like a group of people. So it couldn't be at a party or something I'm picking up on. They're saying, don't leave your heart on the shelf, feel things. It's okay to feel things, you know, it's not a weakness. So you're going through a really big cycle right now and you're learning to just grow and feed yourself. It's like you're a plant that doesn't need watering. You just water yourself. Um, you don't need watering by anyone else but yourself. Um, and you're learning to just stand in your power and really get, um, I'm hearing, yeah, just really radiating light. And I'm hearing you're getting the sun from yourself. So you're encouraging yourself and you are really working on your emotions and bringing in some really beautiful, loving, nurturing, emotional energy. And then it's just flow with any obstacles that kind of come your way. And with this Libra energy, you could be um, changing up your style, changing up your 
uh, yeah, the way you see yourself on the outside. You could be doing a new makeup routine, a new self-care routine, maybe even getting a tattoo or changing up your hair. That's what I'm feeling. Beautiful. So something could be changing around your home, I feel. New doors are opening for you guys. You could actually be painting your door or painting your walls in your house. And it could just give a new lease of life. Wow, beautiful. Really concentrating on that abundance energy. Through creativity, you'll get abundance, okay? Solar plexus chakra. And then we also have the moonstone. So moonstone is really beautiful. I saw this on my shop. I love moonstone. It's, it's extremely positive. Um, it's really, really good for balancing your feminine energy and getting you um, into your feminine energy and bringing you into a state of um, just confidence and feeling comfortable within who you are. Okay, let's see what star signs we have here. So we have Taurus, beautiful. I'm picking up, picking up definitely on someone who's an earth sign. We have Capricorn and we have Leo. Let's pick one more. Actually, I'm saying pick five. Okay, so let's get one more. Aries and then Scorpio, beautiful. So for you guys, you could be meeting any of these signs within this Venus in Cap, uh, Venus in Cancer. It doesn't have to be, it can be afterwards. But I feel you guys are coming into so much... Um, so much uh, creativity and abundance. And I feel like the more abundance you're gonna gain is, is through your confidence. So be more confident with yourself, guys. Learn to ride the waves and be seen, you know, learn to be seen because you are beautiful and the world needs your energy, you know, and being that positive ray of light. And also I'm hearing the song Water Me by Lizzo. Oh, wow, look at that. Definitely see love coming in for you guys. Very, very positive. So keep, filling up your own cup, re-working on self-care, going for those nature walks if you can, and I will speak to you very soon. I hope you have a lovely day. And if you're interested in a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.